as this controversy continues to take over part of the national spotlight, it's also shining a light on sexual assault by students. And a controversial survey in Lancaster County is putting students into a scenario like that. Look at this. It asks students what they would do if they saw boys trying to rape a girl who had passed out. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Suskin is live to break down the rest of that survey that some say just goes too far. Greg? And that survey was written right here at the Lancaster County School District office. It's being given to high school students in all four county schools here, but some parents say it shouldn't be. I was appalled. Jennifer McAteer got this text from her son at Lancaster High School, a picture of a survey he was taking. Titled Questions About Dating and Relationships, the survey asked students if they're dating, then if it's okay to hit a girlfriend or boyfriend if they did something to make you mad, then the question, you're at a party and a girl there is drunk and passed out. Some boys decide to take her to a bedroom and take turns having sex with the young lady. What would you do? The answers include calling police, the parents, watch, join in, or stop them. Logan McAteer says everyone around him reacted to that question. No, once like everybody got to that question, they were like, hold up, what? It was just, it was like shocking. His mother posted the survey on Facebook. Several friends commented calling it ridiculous, shocking, and not up to the schools. We're here to do good. And we're I here sat to down with Paul McKenzie who wrote that question. Biden. He does research for Lancaster schools and such surveys help get federal grants. They're aimed at studying the attitudes of students. They've done other surveys on bullying and teen pregnancy. The results will help create new programs that teach appropriate responses. Asking the question about, about this isn't designed to condone it at all. It really is designed to raise up our kids to be leaders, to take a stand against that very behavior. And Mackenzie says all this is about teaching students respect for other people, but some parents say that's their job and not the job of the school system. By the way, parents were not informed about this survey. Under this particular grant program, school officials say they're not required to do that. We're live in Lancaster. Greg Suskin, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you. If you want to read that survey, we have it at WSOCTV.com under his story on the homepage.